going over the E-Force 27 inch burnisher right on and we'll be going over uh, how to change the pad, the battery maintenance, how to clean the uh, vacuum filter and then also the functions of the machine. So for the pad head, pad head comes up and down. You just remove this strap here and you can lower the pad head down to the floor when you're ready to burnish. Make sure you only step on this plate here when this plate is down. So when you want to change the pad head, you just lift it up, secure it with the strap, and now you can change the pad head. So the pad uses a clip system, so you just have a clip here that allows you to take the pad on and off, so you can flip the pad over to use the other side if necessary, or if it's a one-sided purple pad, then you would just use the one side. When you go to secure the clip back on, you just press down until you hear that click, and then you're ready to burnish. For maintenance, you will need to clean the skirt. You will need to clean this out when it starts to fill up with dust. So you'll get dust and dirt inside the skirt here that'll need to be cleaned. And then your vacuum system is a passive vacuum system that collects dust and dirt in here. So this folds back. You can also see there's a do not step sign here so you don't want your people to step. Bag is removable, reusable. So you just pull straight off, take it to the trash can, unzip this, and then empty out your vacuum bag. It may take you up to a month to fill the bag, but you do want to make sure that this is cleaned out so that you don't get dust and debris back on the floor. Your battery maintenance. If you did not get AGM batteries, these are AGM batteries sealed, so there's no maintenance to these batteries. If you did not get AGM batteries, you have wet cell batteries. So those batteries require watering, they require distilled water, and they also require you to check the water level. So on a wet cell battery, you're gonna have three caps here that need to be removed and checked for water level, and you need to make sure that you replace them with distilled water. Your connection for your charger is here, so you'll plug in your charger there. You have an off-board charger that plugs directly into the wall, and your battery connection is here. Machine uses a pressure sensor, so someone does have to be seated in the machine in order to operate it, and it does also have a seat belt. So you do have a seat belt here. Secure yourself with the seat belt. Now to turn the machine on, you just turn the key. So turn the key and you'll see the E-Force burnisher sign come up. Press OK that you put your seatbelt on. Take care of your batteries notification, especially if you have wet cell batteries. And now you have your function screen. So to burnish, you're going to change this button from gray to green. So now when we go to start forward, the machine will begin to burnish. Our pad pressure setting is here and our drive speed setting is here. Right now we're at the lowest settings for pad, spe uh, pad speed and uh, drive speed. So now uh, we'll go ahead and go forward with burnishing and that's controlled by the joystick here. So with the joystick, you only need your thumb and finger to operate the machine. So you just press forward in order to run the machine forward. And now you'll see the pad head has gone down and we're burnishing the floor. Stop and let off the joystick, the machine stops running. We can turn our pad head off so that in transportation mode we're not burnishing if we don't want to be burnishing. On your screen here you have functions for checking your pad motor, your drive motor, and your right motor, how long they've been running. You also have a supervisor function, so with you also have a supervisor function with the correct code that will allow you to adjust uh, how much pad head pressure and how much uh, drive speed your uh, people have access to. So you can take away highest drive speed and highest pad head speed. You also have all of your operation manuals located here in electronic form. So your safety manual, your operation manual, and your maintenance manual. So you can refer back to these if you don't have the hard copy of the manual. You have an option for Spanish. Uh, French and Chinese and then back to your home screen.
that's your horn. The red button here is your emergency shutoff. So if for some reason the machine was running and you were uh, needing to shut the machine off and it wasn't shutting off, you just press the emergency stop button and that'll shut off all the power to the machine. When you want to re-turn the machine on, you just turn that switch, turn that knob, and you're back to running again. Thank you.